Positive Day Delivers, this is Dr. DG Dizunga from My Can Change Project. Maganda gabi sa lahat ng delivers natin. And this is the first time po tayo mapanood sa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Click mo na po yan, Doc DG Sunga. Okay, so it's Saturday evening ngayon. <laughs> Saturday yata. Hanggang tayo Thailand. Last month ba? Two months ago. Yan. So Thailand. Thank you sa Thailand. <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, set your target now before 2019. So unahan muna si 2019. Di ba? Marami tayong mga... Sineset na target uh, pag New Year. So, but ilang buwan na lang, 2019 na. So, marami na naman tayong uh, isusulat na target natin. Pero I suggest, unahan mo na si 2019. Okay? So, paano yan? Uh, Mag-announce muna tayo. Alright, so, uh, if you want to advertise your business, magsimula tayo dito sa Bataan Business Innovation. Uh, yung mga nandito lang sa Bataan, so you can advertise your business sa aking page. And sa mga may business naman po dito sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Pilipinas, so you just contact me, uh, 0939-525-4311 or sa aking FB page and FB account. Yan, message nyo lang po ako sa kahit marami na po yung message, I find time para sumagot sa dami ng mga nag message sa atin. Okay? And if you want career coach, yan, so, or life coach, so pwede nyo po akong contactin din. And uh, kahit nasa ibang bansa kayo, mga OFW, um, pwede natin i-arrange sa ating mga schedule. And, uh, November 18, nasa, yun na, no, wala na, uh, nasa Hong Kong tayo, uh, please contact Ma'am Lor Bautista, ang number niya, 919-240-77. Nakikita niyo po ba? Yan po, ang contact number ni Ma'am Lor. At, uh, ito, special announcement para sa lahat ng atin sa Hong Kong. So, uh, nag-discount tayo ngayon. So, para makapag-invite din kayo ng iba. So, instead of $290, $150 Hong Kong dollars na lang tayo. Yan. So, ulitin natin na, $150 Hong Kong dollars na lang po ang inyong registration fee. Doon sa mga nakapagbayad na po ng $290, uh, you can invite one more friend. So, kung gusto nilang mag-invite, uh, umaten, then they want to pay the same amount. So, pwede kayo mag-sharing na lang po. Okay? Or message me kung paano natin Pwede gawin yan sa mga unang nagbayad. But it's already only 290, uh, 150 na lang po instead of 290 Hong Kong dollars. November 18 po yan. Yan. So, para lang kayong uh, bumili ng something. <laughs> Magkikita tayo personal, makapagkwentuhan tayo, uh, magkaaroon tayo ng session, very close sessions, uh, ano po yan, uh, parang intimate discussion so that we can discuss things or plans. Yan. Alright, so let's go back. Set your target before 2019. So, ngayon pa lang, isulat mo na yung target mo. Okay? So, remember, sabi ni Stephen Covey, uh, The Seven Habits, sa book niya po, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. One, uh, I think the first habit is, uh, begin with the end in mind. So, simulan mo na. Tinan mo na yung sarili mo, uh, how do you see yourself or how do you want to perceive yourself uh, in 2019 or at the end of 2019, okay? So, sulat mo na agad. So, ito yung ating first figure. Sulat mo na, I am a, a businessman already. I am a businesswoman. I am a, a leader, a, a principal, or a head teacher, or I am a, a, a leader, or I am an author, I am a speaker. So, Yung target mo, or I'm an investor, so, isulat mo na agad ang yung target. Unahan mo na si 2019. So, ngayon pa lang, you write, start writing your target. So, magsulat ka na. Uh, Dr. G, mahirap ito. I'm not asking you kung, kung mahirap yan, madali yan, basta kung ano yung nasa isip mo, you write it down. Okay? So, isulat mo na ngayon, get your ball pen, uh, get your notebook, isulat mo na, ano yung... Uh, gusto mong gawin sa sarili mo unahan mo na si 2019 huwag mo nang hintayin ang January 1, 2019 bago tayo uh, magsulat, so ngayon mo na isulat okay? kung ano man yan, kahit tingin mo imposible, tingin mo uh, para maraming hadlang ang tanong lang naman, ano yung sumagi sa isip mo ano yung gusto mong gawin what is that one big dream na nasa isip mo what is that one big thing na you want to do what is that big mountain na gusto mong makangkar Okay, so you write it down. 
Alright? So, pag nasulat mo na ngayon, so, kung wala, no, di wala eh, wala akong ma, uh, maisip eh. So, kung wala pa, mamaya, after watching my video, so, uh, you sit down, you reflect, you ask yourself, ano ba yung pwede mo, ano ba yung gusto mong uh, gawin, okay? So, next, after writing your goal, so, mag-start ka na magsulat. So, meron tayo dito, nag, ano ako ng apat, okay, four things na susunod mong gagawin. So, nauna tayo sa dulo, Sabi nga, eh, begin with the end in mind. So, inuna natin yung dulo. Then, okay? So, punta tayo dito. Alright? So, first, ang dapat mong gawin pag naset mo na yung target mo. Pag, uh, okay, pag naset mo na yung goal mo, what's next? So, anong pwede natin gawin? Okay? So, so after mo mag-set ng one, your target, your goal, that one big dream na meron ka. Let's get down to uh, the four small circles here. So, ano naman ang gagawin mo next after setting your target? So, uh, parang uh, last week, may kausap ako in one of my uh, sessions sa aking career coaching. Uh, gusto niyang magkaroon ng isang business. Okay? So, sabi ko, isulat mo na yan. Okay? Isa naman gusto niyang makapag-invest sa stock market. So sabi ko, isulat mo na yan. Diba? You write that thing na gusto mong gawin sa sarili mo. Okay? So after writing it, let's get down to the small circle. So the first is, ang una mong gawin para ma-attain mo to, this big circle na meron ka, na meron kang gusto, na gusto mong gawin is, you have to change your attitude. Okay? So simulan mo ng i-refine yung attitude mo. That means, uh, you have to apply ano bang attitude ang dapat kong gawin towards reaching that goal. Baka kailangan eh, uh, magbago ka ng mindset o maging mapagpasensya ka or you need uh, to be more kind. ba? Or, baka kasi gusto mong maging coach din. ba? Uh, marami niya, may gusto. Uh, may nagme-message sa atin, Dok, di, uh, paano ba maging Oh, so, I think you have to refine your attitude. So, tinan mo na ngayon, ano yung attitude na dapat na binabago mo towards this? ba? For example, gusto mo maging uh, principal. So, uh, dapat attitude mo mapagpasensya ka. Dapat attitude mo uh, like complacent. ba? So, you have to adapt that. If you want to have your own business, ano dapat mo attitude? Ang dapat mo attitude dapat... Uh, uh, you you always wanted to absorb things, di ba? You you always wanted to learn. You always you are always positive. Positive ka sa uh, nangyayari. Nakikita mong problem sa community mo. Nagiging isa siyang opportunity. Remember, sabi ni Jack Ma, when there are problems in your community, there are opportunities. Because for every problem, you need solution. And that solution can be your business. Di ba? Pag may... Pag may problema sa paligid mo, iisip ka na pa, ah, ito, magkakaroon ako negosyo. Remember, pag uh, uh, nata-traffic dito sa, sa Pilipinas, di ba, pag traffic, may mga ginagawang sasakyan, kaagad tayo, mga Pilipino, nakita mo, may nagtitinda na ng mineral water, may nagtitinda na ng banana ko, may nagtitinda na ng mga iba't ibang bagay, di ba? Kasi alam nila ang traffic, problema yan eh, problema, na 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 nagugutom, di ba? And there they are, yung mga tao sa community, darating sila, may dala ng water, bebenta na nila, pati merienda, di ba? Problem turned into opportunity. So, dapat ganun ang attitude natin. Baguhin natin attitude natin. Huwag laging problem yung nakikita natin. Huwag laging uh, negative yung nakikita natin. This, this time, dapat positive na yung mo sa ibang bagay. Di ba? Change your attitude para marating mo yung gusto mong gawin. Alright? So, second, you have to develop more skills. So, identify mo na anong skill ang kailangan para mating ko to. Okay? If you want to be an author, so, anong skill? So, dapat meron kang uh, writing skill na kailangan. So, you have to practice. You have to read a, light, a lot. Uh, you have to talk to different people na, uh, you know, uh, that are already doing what, what you want. That, that they were able to write different books. So, you have to develop the skills na kailangan para dito. So, that's why, sinabi ko po kanina, it's important na malinaw sa'yo, identified mo na, ano yung target mo. Because from there, dun ka gagawa ng mga small steps. 
uh, para sa education lang yan, merong big outcomes, merong small outcomes, di ba? So, itong big outcomes mo, yung skill, yung skill mo is one of the small outcomes na dapat mong gawin. Okay? So, uh, i-identify mo na ngayon, ano dapat ko improve? Uh, when I started my speaking career, so sabi ko gusto ko maging speaker. Okay, that was uh, more than two years ago. So, yung skill na inaral ko, eh, and up to, up to today, at present, I'm still working on my speaking, uh, you know, uh, career. So, may mga skills pa akong dinidevelop, like uh, communication, body language, your hand movement, uh, ano ba dapat, sa left, sa right ba yan, so how do you do, um, uh, you know, how to use your both hands to communicate more, to put some emphasis and, and everything, di ba? So, yun yung skill na dapat meron tayo. Yan yung sinasabi natin that you have to develop your skill towards achieving your big goal. Right? And the third is, baka kailangan, you need to check your lifestyle. Baka yung lifestyle mo, it will not help you to reach your target or to reach your goal. Diba? Baka yung lifestyle mo, nandun ka pa rin sa uh, mga friends mo, you still hang out with your friends hanggang midnight, diba? Hindi ka pa rin, uh, gastos ka pa rin ng gastos, diba? So, uh, wala ka pa rin uh, sineset na uh, financial goal, wala ka pa rin sineset na saving percentage and everything. So, mahirap. You cannot achieve this. Okay? So, dapat malinaw po that when you want to do this, you change your lifestyle. Diba? When I started my YouTube channel, you know, and all the things that I'm doing, these eight things, uh, malaki po yung nagbago sa akin lifestyle. Diba? So, I, you know, um, I cut down some of my um, things na dapat na unnecessary. So, yung mga punta sa mga uh, sale, punta sa mga mall, every now and then. So, nabawasan na yan. Pupunta lang po tayo sa mall pag... Uh, if there's really a need to buy some stuff for for, for these eight things, for my eight sources of income, uh, kung kailangan may bilhin, so, uh, kung kailangan merong, you know, may, yung starting uh, few days ago, medyo inanon na natin yung ating mga food, kung ano dapat gawin. So, ibig sabihin, uh, ang lifestyle natin, eh, medyo hindi ba na natin. Okay? So, my question is, anong which of your lifestyle yung kailangan mong baguhin o bawasan o idagdag, di ba, para maatin mo to. Alright, and next is, yan, in-specify ko na talaga, friends and family kasi talaga yan eh. So, now you have to pick your friends. Sino na lang ba talaga yung uh, isasama mo sa inner circle? Lahat daw po tayo, this is us. So, may inner circle tayo, Okay. So, yung inner circle na yan, only few people yung nakakapasok. So, uh, pag-isipan ko mabuti, sino ba yung dapat ko pang tinetext gabi-gabi? Sino ba yung dapat kong uh, pinifriend sa FB? Sino ba yung dapat kong pinupuntaan pag may event? Sino ba yung dapat kong kinoconsult? Dapat very crucial po yan. Because these people will make or break you. This will help, this may, they can may, uh, they can, you know, uh, help you to uh, reach your potential or they can be the cause, okay, para hindi mo or the reason.